a popular Australian and Shah Muslim influencer, Mohammed Tawindi, also known as In Man of Peace, has called on the Nigerian president, Mohammed Buhari, to stop killing Biafrans. And these have got Nigerians talking. You'll be shocked to hear what Nigerians are saying concerning this. The con controversial self acclaimed a man of peace said this on a post on his official Twitter handle on Wednesday. Bear friends and majority people from eastern parts of Nigeria. It was once a separate country on its own after his leader, Colonel Odubegu Ojuku, declared a sovereignty in 1967. But the Nigerian government refused to fulfill the terms of an agreed meeting in Aburu Accord in Ghana in 1966. The disagreement of the federal government, which is led by the Northern Nigerian General Yakubu Gowan, as they continued their marginalization and killing of the southeast part of Nigeria in the north. This angered the elders of the southeastern Nigeria as the day as Ojuku to declare the sovereignty state known as Biafra. The declaration of Biafra did not last longer as war broke out between the Nigerian government led by General Yakubu Gowan and the Biafran government led by Colonel Odumegu Ojuku. The civil war lasted for three years, 1967 to 1917, following six fire agreement from both parties to, reuni to reunite back as one Nigeria. But since then, the southeastern part of Nigeria, majorly Igbos, have been crying over the marginalization by the Nigerian government and since then has been crying for a separate country of their own. The agitation of sovereign state of Biafra gained momentum following the emergence of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP led by Nam Kano, a British Nigeria from Abia State in the eastern part of Nigeria. Nam Kano is currently being detained by the Nigerian government following his arrest and extradition from Kenya to continue his treasonable felony charges against him by the Nigerian government. The IPOP group has been a major um, target of the Nigerian army after the federal government of Nigeria has tagged them a terrorist organization. We did not go well with some people. Many of IPOP members have been killed by the Nigerian security operatives. Yeah. Okay, I'm a preacher of holiness. Who told Bia friends? Who told you Bia friends are being killed? I'm being killed by who? Buari is a Nigerian Islamic fellow may not pay any attention to a foreign practitioner. As if possible, an Iman of Islam can come out to tell our president the truth. Then we really need to be close to the truth on ourselves. Good luck to every Nigeria and God bless everyone. These are reactions by Nigerians and they continue talking. A man of terrorist is the most decept deceptive person on earth on earth's surface because useless people we are use we are using him for hypocritic agenda this is nonsense hmm Suleiman you have an empty poor stick brain okay that was a reply to that I told them the truth they should stop killing bear friends Mustafa, you are the most stupid and the foolish. Please allow that a man be. God will use him to liberate his people. The comment is now getting tough. Mohammed Josh, because the Igbo people say that they want to be on their own country, that, that is why you Fulani terrorists tag them Terrorist, I am sure you do read about Mazen Namdekanu's case on social media. Watch how it goes. But that is the truth. We need self independence from the ent ent entity called Nigeria. Iman of peace, God bless you for speaking out. A lot of innocent Biafrans are 
have been killed daily in Biafra land. This man is only pretending to be a Muslim, but he is an agent of Jews or pagans' religion. A good Muslim cleric will not support the people that does not like him or his religion. Hmm. You are an idiot for saying that. Who told you that the Jews, Christians, are and other religions does not like Muslim? I don't know why Nigerians' mentality is too low and purest when it comes to religion. Most must you involve and support killing innocent people because they are not Muslims. Hmm. Honestly, I always say this that the problem we are facing in the whole world today is religion and and tribalism. This is just our key problem. If there's no religion, I don't think you know we will be uh, facing what we are facing today. Why would anyone support evil? Why? Okay, because this person is the same uh, a fate with me. I should support him when he's doing evil. That is really bad. You are not speaking of God. You understand? It's really very bad. When you see the truth, you say it. So many things are actually going on in Nigeria. Honestly, innocent beer friends are being killed. That is the truth. So many of them who do not even know what is going on are being tagged ESN and then uh, IPOP members and they and they are being killed for what they know not about. Is it the killing of these people will solve the problem? They are agitating good and fine. Why are they agitating? That is the first question we should be asking. Then the government should go to the root of agitation and cut it off. Check why they are agitating and solve this problem and see if um, peace will not reign in Nigeria. You cannot you cannot seek for peace with war, but you go with love. The government should do something. Killing agitators will not solve the problem. This is an ideology. If by tomorrow, God forbid, they decide to kill Navicano or the other person in the south southwest, the Yoruba uh, agitator or Sundibu, it will not still stop the agitation. It will continue until they fix this. Face, face what these people are agitating for and see if peace will not reign. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.